The recent decision by the Democratic Alliance to terminate the membership of Renaldo Gauss marks a significant and dramatic episode in both his political career and the party's efforts to maintain its core principles. This episode began with a video dating back to 2010, in which Gauss was seen using racial slurs, specifically the highly offensive K-word. The video resurfaced on social media just days after Gauss had taken his oath as a member of parliament for the DA, drawing swift and widespread condemnation. The DA's Federal Legal Commission responded by launching an investigation, and the party's federal executive later took a unanimous vote to end his membership. Renaldo Gauss, who was sworn in as an MP earlier this year following the 2024 general election, had a controversial entry into the national political scene. Although he had apologized for the video in the past, asserting that his remarks were taken out of context and that he did not harbor racist sentiments, the public outrage caused by the footage resurfacing left the DA with little choice but to act. Gao's statements in the video were in direct violation of several sections of the DA's constitution, which is firmly grounded in principles of non-racialism, accountability, and respect for all South Africans. The party's national spokesperson, Willie Orkamp, announced the official termination of Gao's membership and his removal from Parliament, emphasizing that such behavior could not be tolerated within the DA's ranks. The fallout from this decision extends beyond just Gao's role within the DA. As a sitting MP, Gao's was entitled to a number of benefits, including a salary of 1.27 million rand per year, subsidized medical aid, and access to travel perks such as free flights. With the termination of his membership, Gauss loses these privileges, a development that is likely to have a substantial financial impact on him. Additionally, the South African Human Rights Commission has taken legal action, filing papers at the Equality Court to argue that the language Gauss used in the video amounts to hate speech. These proceedings add a legal dimension to Gao's woes, with the potential to further harm his personal and professional standing. The reaction to the DA's decision has been mixed. Some have applauded the party for acting decisively and sending a clear message that racist language and behavior have no place within its ranks. The swift action by the DA has been seen as a demonstration of the party's commitment to maintaining its values particularly at a time when issues of race and inequality continue to be sensitive and central themes in South African political discourse. Others, however, have been more critical, suggesting that the DA's response was overly reactive and driven by public pressure rather than a balanced assessment of the situation. This criticism points to the complexity of handling high-profile incidents of this nature in a country where racial tensions remain deeply embedded in society. For Gauss, this scandal brings an abrupt end to what had been a promising and rising political career within the DA. His journey in politics began in 2012, when he joined the DA and quickly rose through the ranks, becoming the chairperson of the party's branch in Ward 2 of Nelson Mandela Bay. His leadership potential was evident as he completed the DA's Provincial Young Leaders Program in 2012 and the National Young Leadership Program the following year. Gauss held prominent roles within the party, including serving as the spokesperson for economic development, tourism, and agriculture in Nelson Mandela Bay and as a member of the Federal Council in the Eastern Cape. These positions cemented his status as a significant figure within the DA, and his appointment to Parliament in 2024 was a major step forward in his political trajectory. Gao's personal life has also attracted attention, particularly in light of the current scandal. Born in Utenhage, Eastern Cape, on the 2nd of May, 1983, Gao's married Lauren Meyer in 2014. Gao's holds a degree in industrial psychology, a background that has supported both his political career and his presence as a public figure. In addition to his work in politics, Gauss has built a significant following on his YouTube channel, where he discusses a range of political and social issues. This platform further amplified his voice and influence, 
positioning him as both a commentator and a political leader. However, the video that led to his downfall now casts a shadow over his public image, and it remains to be seen how he will navigate this challenge. The DA's decision to remove Gauss from its ranks underscores the difficulties that political parties face in handling sensitive matters related to race and historical injustices. South Africa's history of apartheid has left deep scars, and any suggestion of racist behaviour, even when dating back more than a decade, can still provoke strong reactions. The DA, as one of South Africa's largest opposition parties, has consistently positioned itself as a champion of non-racialism and social justice. By taking action against Gauss, the party sought to reinforce its identity as a force for good governance and equality, even though this decision came at the cost of losing a prominent member of parliament. This incident also highlights the broader issue of accountability in public office. While Gauss has maintained that the video was taken out of context and does not reflect his views, his actions, even from many years ago, were seen as incompatible with the standards expected of elected officials. The pressures of being in the public eye, especially for someone like Gauss who had an active online presence, can magnify the consequences of past missteps. With the SAHRC's legal case against him underway, Gao's future in politics and public life is uncertain, and the long-term implications of this incident may take years to fully materialize. In conclusion, Renaldo Gao's rapid ascent to national politics, followed by an equally rapid fall, is a striking example of how a single incident can derail a political career. The DA's swift and decisive response to the video scandal demonstrated its commitment to upholding its principles, particularly in the face of public outcry. For Gauss, the termination of his membership and the legal challenges he now faces have left him at a critical juncture, with his political future hanging in the balance. As South Africa continues to grapple with issues of race, accountability, and leadership, this case serves as a reminder of the high stakes involved in public office and the enduring power of past actions to shape one's legacy. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates.